Hey guys, so we are out again in the, my training grounds and what are we testing this time around? Well, again we are testing the performance scale and as you can see I want to see what's all the fuss about the outrunners and not only that I also have a different different gearbox so this only uses two gears instead of the three gears that I was using before uh, I sorted out finally what was the problem with my gear ratio so yeah now I can run the two, two gears I have a new one coming in this is home printed I have the nylon coming in and I'm testing this out runner that is quite slow only 1250 kV um, I'm testing it out to see how this goes and so far I like it it's quite nice I'm using this tiny drone ESC running AM32 and what else stick radio is back but I'm having a lot of headaches so the problem was in fact the module the problem in Eurocrawl was the module but so I got the new module second new second hand let's say so as I was saying, I have that new module on the radio. Uh, I bought some other new style because that one is uh, no longer produced. So I got got one, uh, but I cannot buy a second one to have a spare. So I bought another modules, but so far I haven't been lucky enough to get some receivers to work. So that has been a complete waste of money. To the point that Sanwa is almost being considered now but uh, I'm in too deep with the radios the stick radios I believe so and I like the stick radios that's the main thing I don't want to learn how to drive Sanwa so yeah let's uh, try to test I want to see this on these rocks I also did some changes on the performance scale as far as tires and foam combination to, to test some other stuff that I was not liking it and yeah, let's see how it goes. So what do I find about this uh, combo? Um, I like it. I like it has a lot of control. Uh, but the only thing that I don't like is a lack. I feel that it lacks a bit of punch. For example, like this situation. My brush setup would have a lot more punch with the FXR a lot more punch so to do this kind of setting up the the car with with small but sharp uh, throttle inputs the brush setup was much better but as far as low end control it's quite okay I do have a little bit let's see if I can show you <coughs> a little bit of um, gap between sinusoidal and normal so this the startup is sinusoidal it's like stupidly slow but it's nice and then there I don't know if it comes on the video the sound is a little bit different and it jumps a little bit but honestly this is me looking for that spot because when I'm driving normally it doesn't really matter that much and okay fair enough like this is only 1250 kV I already have ordered uh, Ohm's Hobbies uh, 2040 kV I believe so oh, and I'm running 3s of course so I don't know how it will be with a higher kV maybe I'll get that punch that I'm looking for that sounded bad but yeah that's the way it is and um, yeah the car does really nice is nice and controlled like the slow movement is quite good so quite happy with this combo for a ESC that costs 40 euros and a motor that I don't know 
back in the day because I have this motor for many many years maybe some six seven years and it cost me at the time I don't know less than 15 euros so it's quite okay this is a nice climb let's see if it wants to play ball today should normally I do this without many issues but it's quite steep So it's nice and controlled. What I like the most on this combo compared to the brushed actually is the downhill. It has a lot of drag brake. Uh, I don't know if the Holmes being a smaller motor, I don't know if it has, if it will be so good, but what I will do with the Holmes motor, I will have higher KV, but I will be lowering the, the gear ratio. So that's my plan, let's see how it goes, but the downhill control is super nice. I don't have this with my, especially in my um, shafty, I don't have this control. So yeah, this is quite, uh, quite a nice combo for how much it costs and how much it weighs. The motor gets warm after a lipo not even hot warm and the ESC is like cold I mean it's it's impressive it doesn't get warm uh, it's nice and it doesn't have a heat sink or anything so so far quite happy so this is some side healing <clears throat> what else can we do here? I don't know about this climb, but let's try. No, not exactly where I wanted, but So yeah, uh, going up like really slowly, like this has torque for days, it's it's quite nice. And let's see if I can get that gap between sinusoidal and, and normal mode, let's see, oh, there it is, there, but as far as wheel speed is like, I don't mind that, that is something that doesn't make a huge difference. Another thing that I've been doing is trying to get the side heel better and more controlled and I think I got that with some uh, foam setup on the front tires. So yeah, happy days. Happy days indeed. Yeah, controlled speed is, as you can probably see, is like, there are shitload of videos about this already, but this is mine. So, yeah, super nice. As far as temperature, motor, it's a bit warm to the touch, nothing stupid, 
but the ESCs you can almost you almost don't feel any difference in temperature so yeah the motor is a little bit warm but you can still touch it without any problem <clears throat> a bit of a fall let's hope punch part I'm not so convinced and sometimes you need it to line up the car the way you want for example if you are like this you want to punch it there's it's not much punch there it, it everything feels just more filtered you know all the inputs it's just more filtered than with this car I don't think I can descend in a way that I feel comfortable with let's see And also, I don't want to fall down. Hmm. I think it's the first time I'm, I'm doing this downhill part with this car. No. So, um, small recap of this combo. It's uh, light, it's, well, you can have it really cheap. I bought another Outrunner motor for like 17 euros. Uh, the ESCs are uh, 40 euros, give or take. Uh, you can find some with a, the with a back. You have to be a bit inventive to install the AM32, but it's if I could do it, anyone can do it, so it's not a big deal. Um, it's very controllable, I like it going downhill, the torque is really nice. This motor is a 35, 36, so it's, it's quite big for an outrunner. I mean, uh, for the, uh, compared with the Holmes, it, uh, I'm sure it's, it's, it's quite big. <coughs> so the drag brake is awesome, like uh, the rig doesn't move at all, but like I mentioned before, uh, with the Ohm's Hobbies I will have higher KV but lower gear reduction so I think that I'll be good with the drag brake that hopefully will not be a problem so uh, it's still cheap um, e even if you buy a, a Holmes Hobbies motor it's 80 something euros 80 something dollars if you compare with a good brushed motor, it's about the same. You can have them on eBay cheaper, much che half the price of that, even lower. So it's a good option. Uh, it gets warm a little bit. Yeah, now after that last section where I was just pushing it, it was hot. Let's say I could still put my hand there and and not. It was not hot enough that I had to take my hand off. So, but it was warm plus, let's say, it was quite warm. Uh, ESC was, couldn't care less, just cold. Uh, I mean, barely warm, not cold, but don't have ice on it, but barely warm. <coughs> so, I drove for, I don't know, 
half an hour, 25 minutes, something like that now. I have to look at the footage, but almost all that time straight, non-stop. So it's normal that things get hot. The battery, I just look at 3.7 volts per cell, even after all that driving, and it's a six, 650 milliamp battery. So battery life is good. Um, this is a comp rig. Honestly, it will see five, six minutes of uh, driving. That's what its purpose. So I'm not really worried about getting the motor warm. It's it's short bursts and and off it goes. So quite happy. I'll get on board of this brushless crap. Uh, some people have said that they've burned ESCs and motors when you are upside down and you're trying to right yourself so you rock um, the throttle forward and reverse quite violently and they don't like that I can see that that could be an issue on the performance scale is not so much of an issue because you're not going to self right once it's tipped over and it's flat on its uh, lid you have to do a, a rollover to take the five points and, and do the rollover because it's not going to happen. On the shafty, it can do it, so I don't know, something to try out. I have quite a few of these drone ESCs ready to go, so now I have to put them in the cars, I suppose, and see how it goes. So I think this, at least on the shaft, one of the problems that I have on the shafty, on the 2.2, is the drag brake since forever it just doesn't hold so maybe an outrunner is the answer to that we'll see for now like i told you like performance scale is the perfect car that i have to test this stuff out so that's why i'm testing it there all right guys this is probably a long video and i have a lot to cut so thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye